Hey guys, we are back playing some more Pokemon trading card game online and today we are jumping into a new deck and it has to do with Maltrace EX. But first of all, I need to point out that like my face camera here is like, it's really bright in the background and I don't, I, I do know why, it's because the sun's out and it's like right there and my back, my wall is white. So I, I don't know if that's going to be annoying or not, but I don't know, just a disclaimer there. But anyways, we're jumping into the Maltrace EX deck and it's pretty it's a pretty good card um at first glance you're like well four energy that's a lot but let's let's just look through the attacks and just see what it has to do so for two energy we have destructive flame for 30 and we get to flip a coin if it has discard an energy attached to the defending pokemon um we're not going to be using that attack too much but we're going to be focusing more on the power flame um if this pokemon has any plasma energy attached to it this deck does 40 more damage so for 4 energy, we have an 80 plus 40 attack, and we need a plasma energy attached to it. So basically, 4 energy attack is not going to be too bad, and let me explain why. Because we have fire energy and colorless energy in this deck, or plasma energy in this deck. We have 7 and 4 of those. So, um, let me go into this, this view here. So we have colorless machine, which will allow us to do some energy acceleration on the Maltrace EX. So we have three of those, I believe, right? Yeah, three of those. So we have that energy acceleration there, which is amazingly good. And we, we can use up to two plasma energies for the, pla the power flame. And we also, for energy acceleration, have Blacksmith, which lets us attach two fire energies from our discard pile to one of our fire Pokemon. So already, that's like a lot of energy acceleration just to the Moltres EX. Okay, so that's just pretty gosh darn good um, and let's see here so basically the power flame we have the acceleration energy acceleration down so now we're gonna look at the damage we have 80 plus 40 for a plasma energy we're going to have a plasma energy attached so we got 80 plus 40 that's 120 damage already put on the muscle band of that that's 140 damage okay 140 damage just base mall trace EX and if we add in the deoxys EX, let's say we have three on the bench, two, two, let's say two on the bench, that's probably going to be the average because we only have three deoxys in this. So we have two on the bench, that's going to be 160 damage already, okay? And combined with Hypnotoxic Laser, that's going to be over the roof. We have 190 damage potentially with the, with the Hypnotoxic Laser and Burbank City Gym. Okay, so... That is going to be awesome because we have energy acceleration. We can potentially power up Moltres in one turn. And then we have him knocking out any EX Pokemon in the game. So, that's pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, it's not that great because Pyroar still gets to this deck. Because um, I we use Moltres EX as our main attacker and our only attacker. So Moltres, or Pyroar will get around Moltres uh, pretty easily. Um, let's see, who else? Probably Sigilyph and Suicune because, you know, we're, we're just not going to deal with those. Because I just wanted to have this concept of a deck and we're just going to play it out. Because Pyroar and Suicune and Sigilyph aren't that big of a threat all the time. But sometimes they pop up, but we're just going to lose in that case. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. But we also run Magnezone in this deck because during your turn you can play two supporter cards. That's what we're playing them for. So just in case if we really need to use like a uh, Juniper and then we have a Blacksmith off the Juniper, we can use the Blacksmith and the Juniper in the same turn. Or if we just need to like use Blacksmith two times in one turn, we have two Blacksmiths on our hand, we can just use Blacksmith, Blacksmith, and that's already four energy on our Moltres, powering them up in one turn. So that's the reason behind Magnezone and it's kind of, you know, I don't know if it's really necessary, but it comes in handy. Um, we also have Dowsing Machine to get any trainer cards back. Dowsing Machine is really nice when you have when you play Hypnotoxic Lasers and Verbank City Gyms or anything you really need. Uh, as rare candies too, we could, and even Professor's Letter. So um, the idea behind behind Professor's Letter in this deck is just to uh, get two Fire Energies on our hand, and if we have like an Ultra Ball in our hand, we can just get those Fire Energies into the discard pile. So then we can blacksmith pretty easily so that's the idea behind that but other than that it's kind of the basic idea of this deck so without further ado we will jump into the game <laughs> okay so yeah we're already set to ready and set and ready to go so let's try to get a good game spider scotty spider scotty 
Spider Scotty, no numbers. I feel like there should be numbers out of that name. So this would be Spider Scotty 212. Um, I don't know. It's just natural. It flows off the tongue. Um, but let's focus on the game. Okay, so it looks like he's going to go first. And let me mute my sound here so it doesn't pick up on the recording of my face and then echo. Because that always happens. Sometimes. Not really. Um, but, okay, so it looks like we start with a mall trace. A colorless machine, and a plasma energy. So, that is not too bad already, um, but he's going to draw some mulligan cards, because I mulligan like twice, and it looks like we're going up against a Sableye, and something else, I'm not too sure what. Um, it could be Evil Tall, it could be um, Darkrai, it could be all of the above. <laughs> it could be, um, what do you call it? I don't even know what the guy's name is. Zorark. Zorark is pretty pretty common these days too. So looks like he attaches darkness energy and then uh, what do you call that? Random receivers for an N, and he's probably going to use that N and give me a new hand. Okay, so wow, look at this. We have two pl two colors machines and two fire energies are in hand. So next turn we can potentially power up this mole trace. Except for he's going to put me asleep. Are you kidding me? I hate Hypnotoxic Laser all the time. Okay, but hopefully we do wake up, and we do wake up. That's 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 pretty good. Okay, so we're just going to attach everything and win the game this turn, hopefully. So all we really need to do is... Well, I don't, I don't think we're going to win this turn. There's... Well, I don't know. We could potentially, if we get two Deoxys in play, we could Destructive Flame and then win. Um, but it looks like... Oh, and there's the Hypnotoxic Laser. So we just won this game. And we didn't even have to try. Okay, that's how powerful Mall Trace is. <laughs> Three energy first turn. That's uh, that's impressive. So it looks like we win from the poison. And yeah, that, that wasn't very that wasn't really a good game. But you know, I'm gonna say good game because Mall Trace is a beast. <laughs> um, but yeah, Mall Trace is going to be. Um, I mean, Mall Trace wasn't that great beforehand. But combined with Blacksmith now, I feel like Maltrace got a huge boost in, in power. Because Blacksmith is just so good. You can just be like, yo, Blacksmith. And then get two energies from your discard pile. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's really that impressive. But, you know, I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so let's see here. Let's try to go first. Should I go first? I don't know. Last turn with the, with the first... With the first... With the second turn, I got a pretty good attack off, but we'll go second, and then we can try to get a Magna Zone in play or something. So it looks like we don't start with a Supporter, which is kind of bad, but we do have a lot of energy in our hand, and a Colorist Machine, so you can't complain when you have a Colorist Machine. I mean, you just can't, because Colorist Machines are just so good. Okay, so it looks like a Sableye is primed and ready to go, and we are going to just power up all Mar- Power up all Mar- I can't talk. Power up our Maltrace, okay? So we're going to attach all those and end our turn because we can't attack first turn. So he's going to get the Sableye. He's probably going to poison me, and I'm going to be sad. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. Because he's probably going to poison me with Hypnotoxic Laser, and he's probably going to Junk Hunt, probably get a Verbank City Gym in play, and there's an Evil Tall. So Evil Tall is actually going to be very hurtful. Ah, Enhanced Hammer, come on. Okay, Enhanced Hammer is going to be very hurtful in this deck, too. So here's the Hypnotoxic Laser. Um, he might get... Is this the same guy? I don't think this is... No, this is not the same guy. This is a different guy. Probably same deck. <laughs> okay. So, Sableye is going to get his revenge on me. He's going to put the Float Stone. And it's Tropical Beach. Okay, Tropical Beach might actually help me here. Um, but it might actually not, too. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, we're going to get the Deoxys on our bench. And then... Yeah, Tropical Beach might help me. Um, because I don't know if I want a Destructive Flame this turn. Probably not, because he doesn't have any ener any energy, and I'm only doing 50, 60 damage. If I had a uh, Hypnotoxic Laser, that'd be awesome, but I don't. So, I think I'm just going to attach the Plasma Energy and just Tropical Beach, because that's all I really can do. Um... We do have a Colorless Machine and another Fire Energy in our hand, so perfect. And we also have the Hypnotoxic Laser. And we still have no supporters, so that's kind of disappointing, but um, that's alright. We've gone so, through so many cards already. Uh, I guess not. We've only gone through, like, 
a third of our deck, so I guess it's not that many cards. Um, he's powering up his evil tall, though. Um, he might just bring that out this turn and... Oh, man, he might even knock me out. He's going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 120 damage. Ooh, and there's the Lysander. Okay, that's that's okay, because if he knocks out my Megamite, I'm not too... It, you know, it's better than him knocking out my Maltrace. That's all I gotta say. So he's gonna put uh, Darkness Energy to the Bench Darkrai. And now we can bring out our Maltrace and knock out this Evil Tall. Um, hopefully. Actually, maybe. Um, we're gonna color this machine for our last Plasma Energy. That's kind of disappointing. But we're just going to attach, attach, and Team Plasma. Okay, let's let's see how many how much damage I'm doing. So we're doing 140, and then 140 with the Muscle Band, and the Plasma Energies and whatever. And then 150, and then 160 with another Deoxys, okay. And then another 10 damage from the poison, which is going to add up to 170, knocking out this evil tall. So we are definitely going to just do that, and we don't even take poison damage because we're not even poisoned anymore because he Lysandered out my Magnemite to knock it out. So looks like he's going to bring out the Sableye, and he's probably going to do some. Um, handy work with the Sableye because um, with, <laughs> he's probably going to try, try to get back to the Enhanced Hammer and get rid of these Plasma Energy as fast as possible because the more Plasma Energy I don't have, the less the less damage my Moltres does because if I run out of the Plasma Energy, I'm not going to be doing a lot of damage. So that's probably what he's going to try to do. Um, but he's going to Juniper for a whole new hand, put his, uh, put his deck down to 29 cards already. So... I don't know what he's going to do. Um, he's probably going to, well, probably going to get the Enhanced Hammer back with the Junk Hunt. Um, but my Maltrace really wants to knock out the Sableye. <laughs> That's what he really wants to do. Okay. So it looks like he does get a Keldeo in play with the Float Stone attached. So, oh, he does have a Garbodor in this deck too. So he looks like he's not getting it in play though. But that Garbodor would help him a lot because that would shut off my Deoxys. And I guess that's all it would really do. And my Magnezone, too. So, it looks like he gets two Dark Patches back. So he doesn't even get the Enhanced Hammer back. Which is kind of weird, but at the same time, I'll take it. So I'm going to Fiery Torch for two new cards. And then let's see here. I'm going to Ultra Ball, I think, for another Maltrace. And try to... Well, I, I don't know if that was a good idea. Because <laughs> I was going to Blacksmith, but I don't have two Fire Energy in my discard pile. So... I don't know if that was too great of an idea that I did that, but um, let's see here. I think I'm going to Shauna this turn and get rid of an N and a, a Muscle Band. You know, why not? Get a Maltrace in play. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I could have went for another Magnemite. I should have done that, shouldn't I have? Oh, well. Um, put the, the bat on the Maltrace, the, the Muscle Band on the Maltrace. Okay, let's see here. I'm not going to Blacksmith. I'm just going to Shauna. And then there's a Magnemite, so I'm happy it worked out that way, actually. So, um, let's see here. I could put the... Yeah, I'm going to put the Deoxys down. Why not? Get three Deoxys in play. And Destructive Flame. I guess it doesn't really matter what should I do. Um, 170 damage. Base damage to the little Sableye. So now, he's like, oh no, I'm going to lose. But at the same time, he's probably going to Dark Patch two times. Power up his Darkrai? No, his Evil Tall for sure. Because then he's doing one, two, three, four, five, six. 120 damage to me, and if he does, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 140 damage to me. Okay, so if he has a Hypnotoxic Laser right now, or Double Colorless Energy, or even one more energy in his hand, he's going to knock me out. Um, and there's a Juniper, okay, I might get knocked out this turn, um, which is not very good. Um, dang it, I might even lose, okay, there's one more energy, my Maltrace is going down. My Maltrace is going all the way down. Um... So that's, that's kind of scary, but at the same time, hopefully we can get a one-turn one Maltrace powered up here. That would be awesome. But at the same time, I have a lot of resources in the discard pile. Um, and there is the, there's the Starfleet Megaphone. Okay, he's just going all out right now. Uh, maybe, I mean, if I don't get the Power Flames powered up, I can get the Destructive Flame powered up for 30. Actually, it would be 60 damage just because of the the Deoxys, so um, hopefully we can get this Evil Tall knocked out as soon as possible. So there's 160 damage on the Maltrace, 
and he's going to take two more prizes. So we are now tied. I don't have any energy on my guys, but... Oh man, this this could be interesting. Um, there's another mall trace. I'm going to put that on the bench. And then we are going to attach a plasma energy, because that's all we can really do. And pal pad for those two... Uh, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Can I just get the Shauna? Because I don't really want the end. I guess I have to get the end. Okay, because the end's not going to do me much good. Um, but... We're just going to Juniper, and jeez, I didn't get anything. Um, I didn't... What I really want to do right now is get the Magnezone in play. Okay, well, that didn't happen. Um, at least I can get uh, energy on my Moltres, and just try to discard an energy from this. Oh, no. I already attached an energy. What, what am I thinking? I don't even know what I'm thinking. Um, well, at least he's asleep. <laughs> uh, this is not this is not looking very good right now. Um, I can't do anything. Hopefully he stays asleep, but at the same time it doesn't matter because he'll just rush in and retreat. So he's going to take 10 damage from the poison. And yeah, I'm not looking too good. <laughs> um, next turn, if I can get a blacksmith, I'll be looking okay. Because then I can attach a fire energy and then blacksmith and then knock out this evil tall. I think, because I'm going to be doing um, 140, um, 1, 2, 3, I, you know, I might not be looking okay, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. So, um, he's probably going to get the, keep the Tropical Beach in play, just because he likes to do that, and I don't like to do that, um, because I, I have poison damage to do to him too and everything, so he's going to put the Dark Claw on the Evil Tall. And put the Verbang City Gym down. Okay, so he's going to be doing a lot of... Well, actually, uh, he's going to be doing a lot of damage to me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, he's going to be knocking me out. That's going to be doing 160. And then... Wow. I'm going to lose. Actually, I think I already lost. <laughs> this evil tell is annoying. Okay, well, in this case, um, I could probably... I'm not even going to be able to power up any uh, my Moltres. So, I'm going to lose. I already lost. Okay, there's a rare candy, so maybe I might have a chance. We're going to poison this evil doll. And then put him to sleep. Okay, we're going to put him to sleep. And then we're going to Ultra Ball for... The Magnezone. Nice. And then rare candy, our Magnemite. And then we are going to... Attach the fire energy, because that's all we can really do. And then Colorus for a new hand. And hopefully get a blacksmith, but at the same time, I need one more energy. Oh man, okay, well, we'll get, we're gonna try it. Hopefully we can flip heads on the Destructive Flame. <laughs> um, destructive Flame for 60 damage, and we flip tails. So, hopefully he flips tails to stay asleep. Yes, but that doesn't matter, because he'll just Keldeo. I keep forgetting about that stupid Keldeo. Okay, we just lost, because he's gonna rush and retreat. And, dang it. Dang it, dang it. Uh, I mean, I guess I had all my plasma energy in my discard pile anyway, so there's no real way I was going to power flame anyways um, for an extra 40 damage on that. So, I mean, that would have been cool if it would have worked, but uh, no, it didn't. Um, I guess I guess we're just too newbie for that. I guess I'm just too newbie for that. Um, we'll play another game because that was disappointing. That evil tall is just so strong against my four energy mall trace. It just really is. At least we knocked out one of them. Right? We did knock out one, right? Yeah, we knocked out an Evil Tall and a Sableye. Okay, so just to knock me out, you already won, dude. Just, come on, end the game. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You're doing 200 damage base anyways, come on. What are you doing? Just end the game. You already won. Um, but maybe he doesn't realize that. I don't know. Well, if, uh, I'll just wait until he's done showing off because he's a jerk like that. <laughs> um, yeah, but Keldeo is a really good card, especially when Hypnotoxic Laser is in play. You can just rush and retreat. You know, just super simple like that. It's just just a super good card. Are you serious, dude? Just come on. End the game already. You already... Okay, I guess he's just trying to max out his damage right now. He's doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 260 damage. Okay. Good, good game, guy. Good game. Um... Good game, the man. Good game. Okay, we'll play one more game here. Maybe more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this one goes. Okay, so we got a skater here with a Pikachu face. <laughs> and we are going to win.
Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Okay. So it looks like he gets to choose who goes first. And, you know, I'm, I'm fine going second as long as I can get that turn one Moltres, uh, which which is not too hard to get. So we're playing up against another Evil Tall. Oh, I do not like Evil Tall. So there's a double colorless energy already. If we can get a first turn, destructive flame off and flip heads and get rid of that double colorless, that would be awesome. But I don't think that's going to happen. So he's going to Ultra Ball here and get probably a Sableye or another Evil Tall, maybe even a Trubbish. You know, it could be anything at this point. There's a Darkrai EX from the disc or from his deck with the Ultra Ball. And yeah, he's going to Hypnotoxic Laser. <laughs> I strongly dislike hypnotoxic lasers. I just, I just don't. If I don't wake up, I'll be very sad. And you know what? The chances of me not waking up are very high because I woke up so many times before. So yeah, we're gonna stay asleep, and we're gonna lose now. <laughs> um, we're just gonna let that Maltrace be knocked out because I don't think I can really sacrifice anything else here. Um, so we're just going to. N, and yeah, we're just going to N and go this route. Okay, so we're just going to go like this, attach another plasma to this, and you know, can we pay pal pad? Not, we're not going to pal pad yet. Um, although it might not be a bad idea. You know, I don't know. So <laughs> hopefully we can get the the one hit knockout on this evil tall um, when he knocks out my Moltres. Because he's going to knock out my Maltrace this turn. He's probably just going to Y Cyclone and put a Darkness Energy onto his Darkrai or even the Sableye. Um, but there goes my first Maltrace. And we're going to take, hopefully, we're going to take a 1 1 prize here. Um, hopefully, I can get two Fire Energy in play. This is going to be bad. I don't think I'm going to get this. I don't think this is going to work. Unless I can top deck a Blacksmith. I probably should have Blacksmithed the last turn instead of End. I probably would have been a better idea because my Maltrace would be easily powered up then. Um, but we do need two fire energy on our Maltrace, so we definitely need a blacksmith. Which is not going to happen. I don't think I'm going to win. I think I'm going to lose like this turn. Okay, come on. Pick a prize already, dude. Pick a prize. It's not that hard to pick a prize. Two prizes, actually. Um, so, I mean, I could dousing machine for an Ultra Ball. I could go for the N again, just so I don't have to Juniper away my whole hand. But at the same time, I'm going to be... If I use the Dowsing Machine, it's just like Junipering away my whole hand, so, you know, it doesn't really matter at that point, I think. But it looks like he's just going to lose. Okay. Well, it looks like the game's glitching, and dang it, he must have, like, lagged out or something. His computer crashed or something, so... I think I'm going to have to uh, come back. Dang it, come on. I hate when this happens, because I have to shut down my whole game and then restart the recording. Okay, well, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're going into another game here, and it looks like we're playing Soul Samuel again. We played this guy, like, last episode, didn't we? So we're going to get our revenge on him, because I think he beat me pretty badly. Um, I don't remember, actually, so I just remember that we played him. Okay, so it looks like he's playing a Shift Tree deck against a Maltrace deck, which is not going to go very well for him, because my Maltrace is just going to... Blair through his grass type decks. So we're just gonna load our bench up already and you know take an extra thing here. So I mean uh, extra draw an extra card because he mulligan. So it looks like he does have the Verusian out, so we're gonna poison him right away before he gets the grass energy on. And then we're just gonna end because why not? Um, it looks like we can get our Maltrace start start powering up our Maltrace and it looks like we don't have the rare candy yet, so we can't get the male Magnezone in play, but I think I'm going to put the Deoxys down, and then end my turn. So he's going to take 10 damage from the poison, which is fine with me, because he's just going to get a Grass Energy on that Verizian EX anyway, so he's going to end me, which is awesome, because now I can get the Colrus Machine. Oh, wow. I'm doing too much, too much damage here. I'm doing 80. Oh man, I'm doing I'm doing a lot of damage, aren't I? So I'm going to be doing um, 60 with the Deoxys, um, another 20, so 80 for the most of that. So I'm doing 160 damage, knocking out this Verizian with just my first attack, because he's weak to fire. Wow, that's just too incredibly powerful. That's, that's way too powerful, actually.
<laughs> oh man, so we're going to have Professor's Letter here, take two fire energy from our deck, and put them into our discard pile, so then we can blacksmith um, onto our Maltres. Um, actually, I think we'll be fine just keeping <laughs> this Maltres um, with two energy on it, because, you know, just power up this one on the bench, why not? Because we're knocking out this Verizian with 160 damage anyways. Wow, that's, that's incredibly good. Okay, with two energy, we did 160 damage. Wow, um, and that's with weakness. So, um, I don't. We're not going to be able to knock out this mill tank though. But it looks like he might get the shift tree in play right now. So then he will be able to um, do a lot of damage with that mill tank. Um, he's going to do 100 damage with the mill tank, and I do draw a blacksmith. Um, but I don't have any fire energy in my discard pile, so that won't do me much good. Um, I guess I can just. Plas get the plasma energy onto my Maltres, and then Juniper, oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get a fire energy, because I only have one fire energy left in my deck for some reason. I'm just going to Juniper, and yeah, there's no fire energy there. Um, but we can get the Mangazone in play, and N, or we can just Juniper again. We're just going to Juniper, um, and not get, still not get a fire energy. Um, but at the same time, um, he's, he's going to be doing... My Maltrace is doing 80 damage. He's going to be taking 10 from the poison, which is not enough. Wow, this is just not 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 working very well for me. Um, he might just knock me out this turn. Um, so I'm just going to destruct a flame. Hopefully, get rid of that grass energy. And wow, I cannot flip heads on that. If he stays asleep, that's fine with me because um, he's just going to take poison damage. Unless he gets a Verizing in play right now, he's going to take poison damage and die at the end of his turn. Um, because if he does get a Verizian, that Grass Energy will take away his special conditions. So he won't be asleep, won't be poisoned, and he'll be able to knock me out. So that's kind of disappointing there. But at the same time, I have another Maltrace on my bench that I can just bring out. Um, so that's that's kind of nice, you know. Um, but it looks like he's going to Ultra Ball, probably for a Verizian, just to get that poison and uh, sleep out of his way. So there's the Verizian, gets rid of that poison and sleep. And now he's ready to attack and knock out my Maltrace. So I probably would have been better off attaching this uh, plasma energy to my bench to Maltrace, and then I could just retreat it or anything. Um, but at the same time, I, I guess it's not gonna... It doesn't offend me too much. So it looks like he's gonna power up his shift tree here, and, you know, that's gonna be scary. Um, because he's gonna... That shift tree is kind of... That shift tree is kind of scary, so... Um, looks like we're gonna get another Maltrace, and we're gonna attach that muscle band to that Maltrace, and we're just gonna call this... Um, I guess I should have used my, you know, uh, this, Sacred Ash, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know why I even have a Sacred Ash in here, um, but it looks like we can Blacksmith again to, uh, but we only have one Fire Energy in our discard pile, so Blacksmith isn't going to be too much of a, too much of a good thing. Um, I think we're just going to attack. I don't, I can't see too much else being useful. Put a Blacksmith and a Colrus in my deck, why not? Um, or I could put two blacksmiths in my deck, but at the same time, I don't know. We're just going to do that. And then... Wow. Um, we're going to knock out this mill tank just with the destructive flame here. So, man, I don't even know what to do. Um, if he brings out the Verizian, I want to be able to poison him. Uh, he's not going to bring out the Verizian. I'm just going to attach the the plasma energy to my bench, and then just destructive flame for 80, and then take a prize. Um, and I finally flipped heads on the destructive flame attack when I didn't even need to, because he's knocked out anyways. Okay, so next turn, hopefully we can get... You know, I don't even know what I, what I want to do. So he's going to bring out his C dot, and just probably sacrifice the C dot, or he's just going to bring out a mill tank. Dang it! Okay, maybe I should have attached that plasma energy to my... Maltrace. Um, hmm. Now what am I going to do? Um, he's going to be doing 100 damage to me with a mill tank. That mill tank is so powerful. What the heck? Okay, so he's going to Skyla for a dousing machine. And, you know, I don't really know what he's going to dousing machine for. Probably a rare candy? I don't know. Um, probably used to get another shift tree in play. Nope, he's going to go for the muscle band. So he's going to be doing 100 more damage to me. Dang, that's kind of annoying. Uh, mill tank is definitely a very annoying card. Okay, so actually we will be able to knock him out with two energy because we have the Verbank and the laser now. So we can just go that route. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Verizian. Duh. 
Okay, um... Well, now what do I do? Um, I guess I could blacksmith... I'm just gonna do it, because I need to attach as much energy as possible. Um, this... What, what are you doing? Okay, I was like, why isn't it working? <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Okay, but, uh, um, yeah, we're just going to... I'm just gonna startling megaphone now, just so I don't draw that card again. I just I just want to draw an energy, and there is the energy. So I can just attach the fire energy to my mall trace and knock out this mill tank because mill tanks are so super annoying. Um, so yeah, we're gonna powerful flame, 130 damage, knock that thing out, and yeah, we don't do the extra 40 damage because we don't have any plasma energy attached to that mall trace. But at the same time, I don't I don't think I'm gonna really need it because any of his guys right now I'm knocking out. If it's a mill tank, knock out. If it's a grass Pokemon, knock out because of the weakness. So, um, well, yeah, I just got really bright again, didn't it? <laughs> Silly son, go away. So this is shifts, shifts. His shift trees haven't really been much use yet, but at the same time, this, this shift tree is doing a lot of damage. This deck does 20 damage times the number of bench Pokemon. So we have one, two, three, four, five, we have a lot of bench Pokemon. Okay, we have what um, nine bench Pokemon right now. Um, that, th that thing is doing 180 damage, knocking out any of my guys. Um, but he, it looks like he just passes his turn, so that is good for me because I can just um, attach some stuff now. Um, I don't have any fire energy in my discard pile, so I'm just going to attach the fire energy to my Moltres. And you know, I could just Colorus again, <laughs> but at the same time, uh, I, I don't know. I kind of want a blacksmith in my hand. That's what I kind of want. So I think I'm just going to Colrus. Or maybe not. Because if he ends me, I want to have as many supporters in my deck as possible. Just so I can top deck a supporter if I need to. So. Um, I think I'm actually going to. Yeah, I'm going to leave this Small Trace active. And then just. Attack. <laughs> I guess. 260 damage on the C dot. So it looks like we do draw a Skyla from the prizes. And he brings out his mill tank. Okay, maybe I should have. Dang it. Okay, maybe maybe this is going to be bad. Um, he's going to end me down to one. Are you kidding me? That's exactly what I thought it was going to do. Okay, he's going to do 80, knock me out. And now I'm stranded with nothing. Um, I need a supporter. Otherwise, he's going to win. Pretty, pretty easily. Um, okay, there's my Colrus. Good job, Colrus. You are always my favorite. And look at this. We just won the game with the Blacksmith for two energy and the Knockout with the Power Flame for 170 damage because we have the Plasma Energy on there. Okay, so we're going to take out all these Mill Tank. That was actually pretty difficult. What is this? What is this? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's a Mewtwo. What is that? I don't even know what that guy is. Uh, copper Mewtwo and gl Gliz Glizcore. What's a Glizcore? I don't know. Don't ask me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, let's play another game. Ho hopefully it doesn't take too long. Um, I definitely had the advantage in that game, um, but he did have those mill tanks, which really, really, really got to me. They almost got to me, uh, but not too, not too bad. Okay. So we're, looks like we're playing up against this Zeldos guy. We're going to click OK because we mulliganed, and wow, we don't have a very good starting hand. I mean, the Skyla is not too great. Those two Colruses are not very good, though, um, especially at the beginning of the game. You don't want Colruses at the start of the game because those won't get you very far. So hopefully it ends me first turn, but it looks like he does have a Sigilyph, which is the absolute bane to this deck because he can just bring out the Sigilyph and just win. Um, but it looks like he has a Pipple up too, and, but it looks like he's powering up the Verizian, so... You know, I don't really know. Um, has no weakness. Okay, so I think I'm going to get rid of that because I don't want that. And then Skyla for, you know, not the, the hand I have. I'm probably just going to get an N because <laughs> why not? And then just attach an energy so I can attack next turn and then hit him with weakness if, it, if, if that comes to that. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Because all he really needs to do is bring out that Sigilyph, and I'm struggling really badly. So he's going to attack with the Verizian, do 50 damage, and not attach any energy to his guys, because he can't really. So I'm going to end, and dang it, don't have any fire energy. 
Uh, but I'm going to attach a colorless energy to my mall trace and end my turn. What did just happen? I don't know. You tell me, dude. Oh. <laughs> What do you mean? I have no idea. What did just happen? I end you? I emerald slash and discarded the energy. Oh! What? The energy went in the discard pile. <laughs> That's kind of funny. That's kind of That's kind of really funny. <laughs> yeah, emerald slashed. And then the energy went into his discard pile. <laughs> well, that's not a very fair game because he's just going to lose now. <laughs> oh man, that's kind of funny actually. Um, but he deserves he deserves a win because all he really needed to do is power up the Sigilith and then he won uh, fair and square. That's all he really needed to do. Emerald sl Slash and the energy is gone. <laughs> that's kind of actually really funny though. Um, because it's, it's supposed to attach two, ener two grass energy from his deck to one of his Pokemon, but it attached two grass energy from his deck into his discard pile, so, <laughs> whatever, that was really stupid. Uh, that's kind of funny. Um, yeah, I don't know why that happened, but it looks like he's going to bring out his Empoleon, and you know, my Moltres is weak to Empoleon, so, um, he's just going to easily win the game here. He's going to be doing one, two, three, four, five, six, um... 60 damage plus that is going to be um, like 160 damage because of the muscle land and the weakness. So he's going to easily knock me out right now. And I'm going to be like, oh no, I'm going to lose. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Actually, I already did that. Um, so yeah, um, 160 damage on the Maltrace and I'm knocked out. So yeah, this is going to be an easy game for him because uh, first of all, I'm not, I don't have any cards. And second of all, because... I hit my toxic laser is not going to do anything, so I'm just going to do it anyways. Ah, take that. Um, but, yeah, there's a Deoxys, and there's this, Fire Energy, and, um, you know, I can't really do much. Can't do much at all. So, you know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to destruct a flight for 50, and hopefully flip heads and discard the energy. Nice. Okay, so hopefully he doesn't have any energy. you got to love Verizian for that laser attempt. Uh, yeah, I knew, I knew, I knew it. Um, I knew what I was doing. I was going to discard it anyway, so, I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mill tank, and there's the, the, the energy. <laughs> it's going to knock me out again. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Because, you know, I did discard that rainbow energy, which is pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Um, so, I don't know. My roommate's outside my door right now, and he's talking. So, I'm going to scream at him. Oh, what the heck is he doing out there? <laughs> um, I think the fire alarm's going off. What the heck? <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's happening. That thing always goes off sometimes. Not really, but I don't know. So, you know, I'm kind of curious what the heck's going on out there, but I'll, I'll finish this game and then I'll go look. Okay, because he, he's under control. He's, he's got it under control. So it looks like he does put the, what do you put on there? A muscle band? No, flow stone on the Parisian. And there's a mill tank with a muscle band. Yeah, I'm easily gonna lose this game. He's 200 damage with the Empoleon. And now I only have a couple Deoxys left. So I easily lost this game. And there's no doubt about it. Um, I guess I could Ultra Ball. And then get the Moltres in play and hopefully power him up again and hopefully take a prize. But at the same time, that's not going to happen. I'm in a dowsing machine for... Um, what the heck is going on out there? I don't even know. Okay. So, we have a fire energy, a muscle band, and a thing. Okay, so. <laughs> he says nice. I don't know why he said nice. Um, probably because he's a noob. <laughs> he's going to knock me out again, isn't he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Is that 10? 10 Pokemon play. He's doing 120 damage plus the poison. 130 damage. Wow. I mean, not 130. 150. 150 damage with, you know, everything he's got going for him right now. So, I mean, I'm easily going to lose right now. And this is just a terrible game. I don't even know what happened. He had the two energy in the discard pile from the beginning. And I'm still losing very badly. So, my Deoxys is going to get knocked out next turn if I don't do something. Um, so, I'm going to do this. 
and I guess just attach the fire energy and hope for a switch because if I don't get a switch right now I lose um, I didn't get a switch so <laughs> I just lost good game good game and um, good game so that's going to be the end of this episode. I'm never going to play Maltrace again. Actually, I know. Maltrace is pretty good. Sometimes. So be sure to like this video if you like it, guys. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you've not. And we'll see you next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.